Hi you all, welcome once again to Jackie Blue Beauty Tips and welcome to my channel. I want to welcome my old subbies and my new subbies and come on down and check it out. I have videos on health, fitness, beauty, lifestyle and a few serious ones. So I feel like there's something for everyone and I call you all my baby chickadees. So come on down and join my YouTube family. Today I'm going to do kind of a skincare, health care kind of a video and I'm going to talk about safflower oil. I think this is an oil that is neglected today and I remember years ago my mom using safflower oil to cook certain things and then I just kind of forgot about it. I don't know if I used to use it when I first got married to cook. But then there was so much about canola oil, and then after that, they kind of discouraged canola oil. We should all use olive oil, which I still really love olive oil. I think it's a good oil and very healthy. And I love coconut oil, and I love my hemp oil. So I'm not saying there aren't other good oils, but this is one that I've been researching, and I can't say that all these claims are true. It's just things I've been researching and it sounds like a good oil to incorporate into your lifestyle. So I'm going to talk about safflower oil. I had even trouble finding it. I found this at Woodman's and they only had one brand. I did not get organic this time. I'm thinking of trying a health food store like Health Hut or Fresh Time or one of those other ones. You know outpost one of those other ones I they probably do have an organic safflower but I just got this one to try I've noticed that in cooking it's it tastes very good because sometimes certain things you might not like the olive oil taste I mean it's good on vegetables and stuff but if you're making if you're baking like banana bread or cookies the olive oil kind of has a distinct flavor and sometimes sometimes I don't care for it I think that the safflower oil has a little different flavor and might be you know better for that kind of cooking so so I'm going to talk a little bit about it it is from a plant this the thistle part of a plant that is in the daisy and the daisy family it is mostly an oil seed crop and people have been using this oil for years. First discovered in China, Egypt, and India, and then later it came to the Western countries too. So it's been around for years and people have used it. We are gonna discuss some of the benefits of it right now that I've been researching. First of all, the reason it is so good is because it contains lots of antioxidants, lots of omega, omega fatty, fatty acids it has three six nine and it seems to have more more of these kind of things than olive oil even from what I've been researching the vitamin E too is in there so if you're sensitive to vitamin E allergy to wheat I don't know but you know that you'd have to check with your doctor if you if you're sensitive to vitamin E but I don't have any issues like that I'm not gluten free or anything so so for me, it's fine. So I'm going to talk about some of the benefits that I have read, and I've been using it a little bit myself, and I'll share some of the things I think it's good for too. Here we go. Let's get started. First of all, it's supposed to be good for your heart, and that's because it has the omega-3s and 9 and 6 and 5, all kinds of omegas that will help to keep your arteries clear and unclogged. So that was the first one. It's good for your heart. So that would be like, you know, using it a little bit for cooking. I don't think you'd have to use it all the time. You know, I don't mean to go overboard and overdose in safflower oil, but to use it in your cooking. And uh, so that was the first thing. The second thing I, look, I looked up is also good for diabetes. And that's because of, you know, all the good things that are in it. It's also supposed to be good for weight loss and curb your appetite. And they did try this on rats and noticed that it built more muscle tone and the rats weren't as hungry and they did become more fit. So maybe incorporate a little bit into your diet for weight loss too. 
The third one is hair care, and it's supposed to be good for hair growth if you just massage a little into your scalp. I haven't tried that, but um, if you're trying to get thicker hair and grow your hair out, I usually like olive oil on my hair for a deep conditioner, but I'm gonna try the safflower oil too. Also, it's supposed to keep your skin supple, and this is something I've noticed. I usually have been using, you know, like olive oil on my, on my body or coconut oil, and lately I've been rubbing a little bit of the safflower oil into my arms and legs and they seem so supple and I think that it's really really eliminated any of the crepey skin so you might want to try that I still love my coconut oil because I'll put a little coconut oil in my bathtub because that's good for anti-yeast and all that but I just put a little bit on in the morning to moisturize my skin instead of moisturizer and I think, I think it's really good. I've been putting a little bit on my face too, and you know vitamin E has always been good for the skin. It's also good if you have um, teenagers or young people in your home for PMS, so you could um, have a little in your diet to help balance hormones, and I imagine that would include menopause too. It's good for that. Also, it's supposed to lower cholesterol. It's also supposed to be good for your immune system and for um, inflammatory things like arthritis. So all good claims, like, like I said, I don't know if they're all true, but it seems like a really, really healthy oil. Also, it's supposed to be good for your brain and help to avoid dementia and Alzheimer's because of some of the antioxidants in it and also good for your thinking, good for migraine headaches. So many of us suffer from headaches nowadays. So you might want to try a little bit of in your cooking if you have any of these issues. This is what I researched about this oil. Like I said, I've been using it on my skin and face and I think it's really good and it's it's helping restore it and make it more moisturized and supple. And I think that is because of the omegas in it and the vitamin E and also the two acids that are in it that are really good for you. The linoleic acid and the oleic, oleic acid. So if you don't know what these are, you know, go ahead and research it online. That's where I found all these things. And I don't know, I had, like I said, I, I'm going to try it and I think that it was worth sharing. And like I said, I still love my other oils. But I'm really, really gonna um, try to um, incorporate this safflower into my diet a little more. And um, like I said, I really do like it on my skin as a moisturizer. And it seems like if it has all these other claims of benefits, it's a good product. I wouldn't say OD on it and be drinking it, you know, <laughs> by the ounces, but use a little in your cooking, use a little in your hair, use a little as moisturizer and let me know what you think. Let me know if you're familiar with safflower oil or if you've used it or if you decide to use it, what you think. So I may do an update on this. I don't know, but this is just some things I've been researching. I found out about the safflower oil on a YouTube channel. You, um, let's see, what's it called? Um, you tips for you. Yeah, I'll link her channel below. Um, her name is Linda, and she has a really nice channel with health and beauty also. So she's the one that I um, found out first about the safflower oils. So I will link her video below, and you can go check her out too. So, so that's my video for today. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And like I always say to you all, the smile's the best beauty tip. If you're happy on the inside, it will show on the outside. So that is my video for today, and I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.